morning everyone so today we will discuss about the reversible reactions okay this is the one of the types of reactions okay so reversible reactions means so you know generally in a reaction the reactants give the products okay which involve in the reaction they are known as reactants means uh, the starting material we are taking for the reaction the starting material we are taking for the reaction are called reactants the formed compound the formed new compounds are treated as products okay let's see one example if you know on heating calcium carbonate on heating this calcium carbonate we know that there is a formation of calcium oxide and carbon dioxide okay so these are this is a reactant this is product for example n2 plus 3 h2 gives 2 nh3 here what are reactants these are treated as reactants reactants these are treated as products mean the starting materials are taken for the reaction are called reactants the formed new compounds are called products okay so reactants forming products reactants forming products so this is treated as this reaction is treated as forward reaction our n2 h2 combined the same form is like ammonia forming so this is a forward reaction so on heating calcium carbonate we got uh, lime and carbon dioxide gas so it is like forward reactions okay if uh, the re reverse reaction takes place so see here again if uh, there is also possibility based on the conditions nh3 is also forms nitrogen and hydrogen It means uh, here the products formed the reactant exactly reversely okay so first time formed man ki forward reaction lo and starting material n2 h2 tisukona pudu both undergoes reaction and forming nh3 it's okay it's called forward reaction so now after some time after some amount of nh3 is formed like once some nh3 form ayin tarvata em endante nh3 also decomposed to n2 and h2 n2 and h2 and by that is called backward reaction okay so all we know these are reactants so these are products so react into two products this is a form a normal reaction it's called forward reaction it's called forward reaction okay For example, the products forms the reactants. So, if product uh, reverse the mali mali uh, reactants to form just here, go they called as backward reaction. The products are forming reactant is called backward reaction. Okay. So, if this takes place for all reactions, no, it is a uh, apply. It is a uh, observed only in few reactions okay many in many reactions only forward reaction takes place backward reaction does not takes place means it totally depends on nature of the reaction it totally depends on the nature of the reactant and products okay man this is the starting material who form a compounds base is kone adi backward avutha ledha it decides on that only if backward reaction is also possible if backward reaction is also possible then that type of reactions are treated as reversible reactions simple reverse means exactly back so uh, backward reaction is possible then that is treated as a reversible reactions so reverse avvaledu anukonte treated as 
irreversible reactions. Okay. Now we see some examples of a reversible reaction. Here see on heating just now, just now we said that uh, calcium carbonate, limestone atom, calcium carbonate. So on heating calcium carbonate, we know that CaO plus CO2 is formed. So forward reaction takes place. So this is the experimental. So my all reactions to manamay to check chale. These are all experimental given reactions. Either reverse out the, either reverse out the. It is totally given in book for us. Okay, directly we can't decide the uh, whether it is a reversible reaction or irreversible reaction. Okay. Imagine directly but unknown reaction the unknown reaction is there a reversible out the reversible kada man find out said custom they have there is a fixed examples are there we need to remember that examples okay for example on the light heating of limestone the reactant on heating uh, these two compounds are formed so we know the physical state of uh, calcium carbonate solid this is solid. This is gas. Okay, in forward reaction, what happened? CaCO3 formed Ca1 and CO3. In reverse reaction, what happens? These two reactions takes place forming CaCO3. So, if two combined out there, we CaCO3 form out there. Okay, but here the CO2 present in the form of gas. In the form of gas cavity. So, form of a vessel is there. So, form of a it is a gas cavity atmosphere loki mix hypothesis. It went to the into the atmosphere. So only CaO to backward reaction possible. Other. CaO, CO2 combined out there and reaction, reverse reaction possible out there. But it does CO2 gas state cavity help a chance. That's why reversible reactions are there. So, we total emission in general, we need to take a closed vessel. Okay. Reversible reactions, uh, the main condition is they must take place only in closed vessels. Okay. Okay. Under solid state load, it's no problem. But uh, maybe in uh, many reactions, there is a formation of some gases products. Okay. Well, form in a products flow, okay, gas flow, now, but, uh, the total uh, gas flow, atmosphere flow, mix type of it. So, my reverse flow reaction, now, that came under that. So, but, uh, reverse reaction, I should not, but, uh, reverse reaction, now, but, that's why the condition is a uh, reversible reaction generally takes place in a uh, closed vessels. Okay. Means uh, we can define the reversible reactions as the reactions in which uh, in which both forward and backward. So the reactions in which both forward and backward reaction take place are called reversible reactions. Okay. So forward reaction means uh, reactant to product. Okay. reactants to product 
and next uh, product to reaction reactant sorry okay uh, reactant to products uh, is called a forward reaction okay so these are total basic uh, you have to understand perfectly this is called forward reaction the product to reactant so they that is called backward reaction Okay, so if in a reaction both take place simultaneously, okay, simultaneously both forward and backward reactions are possible, they treated as the reversible reactions. Okay, now we see is uh, what is the other point? Generally, reversible reaction takes place in closed vessels. Okay. Okay, write down. The main condition is the important point is uh, reversible reactions. Uh, takes place in which type of vessels closed vessels open vessel lo koni gases untai so the gases help with the malli reverse possible ye chance untadi that's why they taken in reversible reactions so reverse they taken in closed vessels okay reversible reactions are taken in okay closed vessels so there is a condition okay and the next we see some example for examples for reversible reaction so all reactions are they were not reversible reactions okay so some reactions are uh, not reversible reactions okay what is separate there is also a separate name for it okay reversible ye child's claim reactions ki there is separate what is that's called irreversible reactions okay as irreversible reactions okay we see some irreversible reactions first okay For example, potassium chlorate. Potassium chlorate on heating, we will get uh, potassium chloride and oxygen only. The backward reaction does not take place. Only forward reaction takes place. Okay. So such type of many, I am just giving an example for it. The main our topic is reversible reactions. Now we see examples of uh, reversible reactions. Okay. These are the fixed example uh, given by given in experiments condition. So N two plus H two gives a N H three. So so forward reaction, backward reaction, both take place. Kya bata? We giving the small this half arrow one. Okay. But takes place at uh, some condition. We know that it has a catalyst. and a promoter it also requires some pressure also okay 480 m atmosphere pressure 
and 450 degrees Celsius temperature. This is the very important reversible reaction. And uh, some more examples are there. So, so here all are present in gas state. Gas, gas, gas. So on CaCO3 also it is also a reversible reaction. Okay. CaO plus CO. Already it is balanced. What are the physical conditions? Solid. It is in powder form. Calcium carbonate. It is in solid. It is in gas state. Okay. Now next. Uh, one more example. Iron will react with water. Hot water nothing but steam. Okay. It is also a reversible reaction. So how to know the whether it is a reversible reaction or not means uh, there is no technique to know the reversible and irreversible reaction to know the any unknown reaction. They must be this is a gas state. It is also steam. Okay, steam state to know this gas state. So iron in this form of solid. So solid. So it is also formed. So very hot, echo heat channel. So then a red hot condition and red hot means so iron total the red girl chat at heat chair. So it is also best example for reversible reaction. So many given example by her child's negative man of own gum or reactions to the reversible the reversible kaga final chat, it is not possible for us. Okay. But it is compulsory to know to remember at least a few examples. So I'll give some more examples. Here see some more examples. Hydrogen iodine. Forming hydrogen iodide. Here also, so it is a gas, it is a solid. See one more example. Yeah, also all gases. Okay. So these are the generally important uh, reversible reactions. Here important thing is that uh, actually this symbol we use this symbol for reversible reaction. Actually there is a, a important thing is there according to uh, so for this uh, two sides uh, symbol. So that is also known as uh, equilibrium symbol. Here important thing is that uh, we know what are the reversible reactions, the forward reaction and backward reaction simultaneously takes place. Simultaneously backward forward reaction, backward reaction takes place in a reversible reactions. Okay, at a particular condition. So when start reaction start system. So start is in the react forward out. So products could go form in the backward reaction start out. So after some time, the simultaneous forward or the backward or the 
So after some time, what happens is that the total reaction mixture composition becomes a constant. Reaction mixture become constant and they there is no change in the concentration and the concentration means we can say composition. Okay, but it's simple. We can say amount. The amount of reactants, amount of product same and this they are like. See, it just appears like a, uh, the reaction was stopped. Okay, okay. Particular time there was a reaction, a particular time only. So a particular time there was a amount that the total reaction mixture constant ga constant out there. The reaction stop I find it unbeatable, but it is not uh, stopped. But uh, why it is uh, looking the appears like it is stopped means the rate of forward rate and the speed you know that too. the speed of forward reaction becomes equal to the speed of backward reaction the forward or backward reaction same speed to happen so that condition is called equilibrium okay so generally equilibrium for me symbol you see that. when rate of forward and the rate of backward reactions are equal it is known as equilibrium it is known as equilibrium state generally when we symbol you just say the so equilibrium okay reverse the reaction so that it is possible okay so this was about the reversible reactions okay so now we see the next type of reactions so are you writing the notes perfectly are you following the videos okay it is compulsory because it is totally basic basic chemistry you have to follow the every class regularly and write the notes properly okay after coming to the school we check the notes and the next thing is uh, you have to listen the previous videos also for example so today you are listening this video so after this uh, you also listen the yesterday's video not earlier all earlier videos just every day you need to listen to videos today's video and yesterday video okay so that's a uh, that's important one for uh, revision it becomes uh, very easy for you so next uh, we see the next type of reaction that is a thermal dissociation reactions this way thermal dissociation reactions let's see thermal dissociation thermal means generally the word thermal indicates about the heating okay <coughs> so heat heat is the pro dissociative reaction same term they treated as thermal dissociation reactions just like decomposition reactions okay just uh, on applying heat they dissociate just like the decomposition reactions only okay this type of reactions are called dissociation reactions okay
so here so what is the difference between uh, normal decomposition normal decomposition reactions also same then what is the difference between the normal uh, decomposition reactions and thermal dissociation reactions for example uh, normal decomposition reactions normal decomposition reactions and the only one product sorry only one reactant okay reactant only one only the products uh, uh, more than one unta okay more than one on heating potassium chlorate potassium chlorate we will get uh, kcl and oxygen potassium chloride and oxygen so it is treated as a decomposition reaction for example if you take a uh, so phosphorus pentachloride okay on heating on heating it forms a uh, phosphorus trichloride and chlorine okay so it is also decomposition reaction it is also decomposition reaction so but uh, it is example for thermal dissociation reaction so they they heat just them we me heat just them both are similar but what is the thing is this is not a reversible reaction there no reverse a choice lein man it is irreversible reaction so ikkada thermal dissociation the word if you just but if it is reversible so pcl for phosphorus penta chloride heat just them heat just them we will get pcl3 what is the name of pcl3 phosphorus trichloride and cl2 so mali we will cool chestam anukondi on cooling on cooling what happens ee rendu mali combined aipothe they combine together and forming pcl5 ante so normal decomposition reactions se model e avuthe but they are reversible reversible avakonna only forward avuthe nemo simply we can say chemical decomposition reactions at the same decomposition reactions model e but there is a possibility of reversible okay backward reaction kuda possible avuthe cool chesthe that it treat as a thermal dissociation reactions means they are just like dissociation just like decomposition reactions but these are reversible they are not reversible okay so means we can define that uh, the reversible reactions on the reversible decomposition reactions the reversible decomposition reactions or called thermal dissociation reactions okay so in this process uh, so what happens on cooling so mali thermal dissociation and then heat just out it so on cooling mali motai again products form out it okay to form reactants okay on cooling it takes place so we'll take some examples as this penta chloride as plus trichloride and this chlorine all on here PCl5 is the solid. Gas, gas. So the forward reaction takes place on heating. Okay, it's a forward avalanche, but temples are heat chair. So backward avalanche, we need to cool it. Okay. Let's see one more example.
So there is a very specific examples for that. There is a ammonium chloride dissociation of ammonium chloride. So left side the reactants flow only one compound is under Okay. So on heating, on heating it forms ammonia and hydrogen chloride. I think already is balanced. Okay. So then there it is the solid form. Gas, gas. On cooling, what happens? Again, reverse takes place. On cooling, reverse takes place. Okay. So here, one more important thing is a. Uh, so decomposition and. Uh, thermal dissociation are looking similar reactions but the only decomposition reaction they are not reversible only forward reaction takes place but in this type of reactions reversible also takes place just only on cooling only cooling only it is possible out there okay next we also said the reverse all reversible reaction takes place only in the closer vessel generally closer vessel in the uses the mainly at the gas states would take Okay, gas compounds in the atmosphere will be mixed with the reverse ordering chai slate cavity. We said that uh, reversible reaction takes place in closed vessels. But on the solids, the liquids, it will be we can take it in an open vessel with this coach. Okay. So next, uh, there is some other type of reaction. The main important reactions are there. That is oxidation and reduction reactions. Okay. In the next class, we see it. Okay.